Thank you for the like, the comments, and share, and subscribe. All right, baby. Friday, early in the morning, like 9.56 on Friday, November 10th. I said that earlier when I did that reading earlier. All right, let's get back to the reading. I think I'm going to do something over there. I think I'm going to do my emotions that come to our time. Take what resonates, collective past, present, and future, feminine and masculine energy. If the story do not apply to the fly, do not make it fiction, it's not your story. This could be somebody else going through it, or a complete stranger, you know what I'm saying? Or you're here for entertainment purposes only? Cool. Fine. Let me start wasting time. Get ready for the message. Music Egyptian. Get ready for the message. This is a short video. I meant to say I was supposed to do like 50 videos of short videos to be able to go live. Not getting 50 subscribers. Because I read it wrong. I have to do 50 more short videos. In order for YouTube to, you know, accept me to go live. That's what I meant to say. I'm like, wait a minute. I said it wrong now. I don't know how it goes. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning. All right. I'm learning. I had like mad downloads when I took a break. And uh, one of the downloads that I got when I took a break was a lot of these comments purposely attack you so you go crazy, right? And remember, those who know me, was watching me for a minute, you know about when I, when I be uh, expressing, you know, the clicking sound and everything like that. What I got the other day was they want you to go so much crazy because they like to study people like us. Or the, the place that this karmic is in, she could be one of, in one of these empty apartments and don't worry about it. This cannot come off of shit. I try to get this thing off. It can't come off for nothing. Anyway. They're trying to drive us crazy. So they can, so that they can study people like us. See, they already got the karmic. Okay. And I got this the other day. And I'm like, so who are these people? These people that's behind the scenes. These scientists or these people that do these type of experiment. One, they drive us so much crazy. Right? That they can say that we unfair. Think. So that can call on some goddamn. You ain't calling on no motherfucker body. Alright? They do things purposely to drive you insane so they can have a reason to, for you to be, you know, admitted to some crazy house. So they can do some goddamn study study on you. That's, what the dad, like, that's a download that I got the other day. And I'm like, oh, what? Right. So you sat there. Attacking, attacking, attacking a person so goddamn bad because you want they ass so fucking bad just to study them and just to study everything about that individual. Very, very sophisticated, but very stupid. It ain't clever. Yeah. Because if I wasn't, say, if I wasn't saying that, why do I keep hearing that girl voice? Why do I keep hearing, you know, some technology click, click, clicking? Why do I keep, why do I keep sending that attack if that wasn't the truth? If that wasn't what it was, let me turn this off. It's getting hot. That shit is getting hot, blowing on. I got that down. I said, oh yeah, you ain't gonna never see me, motherfucker, go crazy. You might see me get mad up in this bitch. You might see me, you know. Smash the fuck out, but you ain't never ever catch me going motherfucking crazy. You ain't you ain't touching this shit right here. I mean, you ain't touch. They ain't touching a motherfucking goddamn thing. Okay, that's the download that I got the other day. I said, oh, I kind of figured, but I wasn't too sure, and I didn't think of that. That's that the way they do it. The sending it attacks to you, collective, and people like us is they trying to get have a reason to study us, get us into these institution facility so they can study our brain and every guy we 
we, we operate and what messages we get and what God says and what the universe says and what you see is like everything. I got that that I said I wish I wish a bitch would. I said, I wish the bitch would. My whole motherfucking team would come down on your whole institution and constitution. Um, I said constitution. Your whole institution. Um, no, I want to say something the other way, but stick my motherfucking mind. I said, my whole motherfucking team would come down on your bitch ass. Oh, corporation. That's what I want to say. Not constitution. Corporation, institution. You, you think? They did, they did it with the father, the mother, her. But now they, they you know, they, you know they, now what they so interested in people like us. Like, I wish you would. That's the dialogue I got. So sophisticated, so classy, but so stupid. All this attack they sent it to it, and then the neighbors involved in it too, because they know they got these goddamn fucking equipment thing behind it, fucking um. Apartment doing some raggedy ass, roach ass shit too. I wish you would put your hands on me and try to fun, fucking send some attack because you trying to do some wild, wicked shit and you feel like it. I wish they would. I wish the fuck they would. Let's get into the reading. That's what I picked up the other day. So be mindful, all right? Be mindful. All this emotional attack, all these spiritual things, they, they came after me the other day. Back to back to back with that spirit attack. Where is anybody fucking chopping? They have swords. Cause that's what the fuck I want to do. And I'm an angel, but I don't give a fuck. I'll, I'll be on that. All right. So I mean, seven of swords, eight of swords, three of swords, eight of wands. What is this? The king of swords. And a six of swords. Look at all these fucking swords. Let's start with all these swords, all these spades. Look at all these swords. Not good. But that's what's coming in. These swords. Okay? Collector, take my residence. If you're here for entertainment purposes only, cool. This might not be your story. This might be a story of somebody or a deceased loved one or somebody experienced this right now or somebody who transitioned it. I, in the afterlife, okay? And they're not here to, uh, peep or it just, it's just a story, okay? Take a rest today, all right? So, I got, what I got here is, <clears throat> in this situation, it's too many goddamn swords. I don't like it. <laughs> Seven swords? But whoever you are, what this individual are, is being protected. Your life. Because this is protection. This can represent protection as well. Swords can represent protection. Swords can represent anything. It can be mental, the thought process, communication, physical, um, spiritual protection, or violence, or this confirmation. Okay? So, but here, this is some kind of protection uh, um, towards this. One. You know what unk, unk is life. I, internal life, life, right? But what I'm getting here is there's a whole lot of protection against this um, one individual, or how I'm picking it. There is one individual that everybody's trying to attack. Okay, however I read it, I'm not reading from the book, in the book, but it got its own definition. But it's my dialogue. Okay. I feel like whoever this is is surrounded by a lot of people who want to attack this person's life. Um, it's life. But this does represent protection. But that's not what I'm getting. Followed by the eight of, of, of swords. This is an entrapment setup. This could be jail. This could be mental jail, physical jail, or a uh, spiritual jail. Right? It's what I'm getting. And you see these reptilians? Look at them. Right here. All right? It's what I'm getting. I already feel like they got this person boxed in, okay? But I feel like here, this is protection because it's boxed in. It got five of swords on top. Defeated, okay? But I'm also getting two ways that whoever you are or whoever this person is being protected, 
But whoever this reptilian is, or this animal is, is being caged in, it's being boxed in. But it's only being boxed in for its own protection. See what I mean? Because once you see a motherfucker alligator, those who, who, who are alligator, hunt alligator, you already know you hunt them shit. All right? Other than they fucking run. You know what I'm saying? But this is what it is. All right? You got the three of swords here. This is represent betrayal. Okay, sadness. Okay, I really feel like whoever this is could be very sad or be very heartbroken because of the eight of, eight of, eight of swords is what I'm getting here. Um, the eight of swords could be mentally, physically uh, entrapment, all right? Had nowhere to go, can't go nowhere, all right? Just want to be there. I feel like somebody could be watching this individual as well, all right? This is the eight of wands. It's fast movement, mobility coming in really quick with the king of swords. This could be a authority, or this could be this could. Sorry about that. This could be a law enforcement, someone who would speak the truth about what's going on in a situation. Whoever you are is in the six of swords, or this person could be in six of swords. I may feel like you're sailing away. You left the ship. You left whatever the fuck it is behind. Or this diary is leaving things behind. I don't think it's leaving anything behind. I already feel like this person is investigating. And whoever this, they already know you walked away. This individual have already walked away from the situation. A, a place or um, a, predic a predicament. I really feel like whoever this is, the authority, is about to transition or move this individual. Whoever this is, is moving this person to a calmer water. Could be overseas or something. That's probably what's coming in quick. Because whatever it is, this person is being protected or is surrounded by a lot of individuals that's ready to attack. But this person here in the eight of one of the, um, fours, this is jail time. So, Whoever this reptilian thing is, is surrounded by influence. Jail, imprisonment, trapped, uh, in a situation where it can't move. All right? And we're going to have a, a three of swords here. It's heartbroken. Heartbroken or really down and depressed and sad. Okay, so what I'm getting. Something's definitely coming in. But the, uh, the uh, king of swords, this could be someone who gets to the bottom. This could be a guard team. could be like an FBI or agent or, or agent. Okay, or for a figure, I don't get, or a mask thing. I have to be for a figure, it's gonna be a mask thing. Okay, someone that specializes in uh, kind of fit right here, and this is Carlo Waters, okay? Even though I know what it really means in Egyptian Carlo, that right here, all right, is locking. Let me pull something out from the emotions that in the middle. But yeah, I really feel like this person knows, this king of swords knows. Is to see a lot of souls passing away. That's what I'm getting. You know what I mean with the Eight of Swords? I mean, Eight of Wands? Wands represents spirit, uh, people, places, and things, spirits. So, how you see how they're looking at the Eight of Wands? I already feel like the people, this is this is what is being, being done with the Eight of Wands, people, places, and things. Or this could be a messenger. Our message coming in really quick. We have a lot of laughter. So these individuals sitting playing, you know, sitting behind the scene laughing about this shit. Says laughter. Or collective, whoever this person is, they could eat to laugh a little bit. But you know how they would try to try try it with you. And they don't come out the way they want to. You like shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Laugh a little bit more. All right? And I'm getting that these individuals when people was laughing on your downfall, laughing on your obstacles, laughing and praying on your, your downfall. All right? It's what I'm getting. It's like that laugh, not laugh now, or oh, yeah? Laugh now, cry later. It's like shit. See what I'm saying? That's what I'm getting. All right? Collective. Like yeah, somebody could be definitely in pain. In pain or pain. You know, it's pushing pain on food. Okay? Think about smug. All right? You can be smug. All right, and whoever this is is very excited about you know the situation transpiring. I bet they were. I bet they fucking were. I bet they were. I bet they were. All right, overwhelming is in reverse. Is what I'm getting here. Okay, so they weren't really overwhelmed. They don't feel like 
this situation where all these tools is overwhelming. Uh uh. They're like, uh uh. It can't even be you. Overwhelmed. Alright. So. I don't, I don't feel like what they did, they didn't think it was overwhelming. But to other fucking people, it's overwhelming. You see what I'm saying? And then we have loaded in reverse. Okay? So, overwhelmed and loaded in reverse, yeah, it wasn't, they don't feel like it was too much party. For those who think that throwing stuff at somebody over and over and over and over and over and over and over, and over, and over you don't think they feel overwhelmed because it ain't happening to them. You don't feel like it's not loaded because it ain't, you're not being up there with the party and, low, and being loaded. But now that the things are perverted back to the original center who seek it out to the collective because it's a group of motherfuckers, it's you and them. Now they're going to feel overwhelmed because they are right now and it only been a couple of motherfucking hours. And they already feel overwhelmed. And, 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 and they're going to feel it loaded since, since you're not feeling loaded. So they feel like it's you know, all the same too much. Now it's being returned, and they're gonna feel how, how it feels to be burdened and overloaded and overwhelmed. But whatever this is, you don't have to feel overwhelmed. This person's not gonna feel overwhelmed about these, um, the situation. So what do you do? So what do you do? King of Swords can be all about like a spy or uh, someone that speaks the idea of truth that has some kind of authority or that knows something, okay? That's what I'm getting here. All right. Let's get to uh, worry, yeah? They could be worried. All right. Worry came out. They could be worried or they wanted you to be worried. These couple past days, these motherfuckers were playing in my goddamn energy, projecting this insecurity or this scare tactic because they didn't know how to handle their own shit. These past couple of days, the vibration, it, it was, the vibration was off because of these karmics behind the scenes that are projecting their insecurity onto you collecting. You know damn well that's not your energy. Yes, it was fucking annoying. Yes, it was getting people pissed off. Because we're trying to figure out what the fuck is their problem. The problem is they cannot sit in their own shit that they created. But they can pass it on to you and I. Because we do not have to transmute that shit. You know what I'm saying? We know how to transmute that negativity into something that's positive and, and, come, and come out feeling good and, and come feeling out inspired. They don't know how to do that. See what I'm saying? So the couple past days, they were protected towards me too. I, I, I had to do what I had to do too. You see what I'm saying? But these individuals are very concerned, very worried because the things that they projected out to you and the universe is being, is being returned back to their behind. Okay? They don't know how to do that. All that time they sitting there doing this goddamn fucking magic and spells and, and fucking with the collective and minding your business when they should be minding their own goddamn business. They should be working on it, uh, um, developing their weakness and making it the strength. All the time. Watching us develop our talents. Watching us, you know, you know, watching us deal with our weakness and making that eat our strength. It's a time wasting. You know what I mean? All this fucking time instead of working on them. And every time you turn it back around, every time they turn around, you elevate it spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, financially, romantically. I don't know. What? Okay, cool. Yeah, you playing this shit cool. It's cool. You know, you you cooling this shit down right now. Or the universe is cooling these things, things down. I feel like I see the... um. The energy transmitted, and y'all see me feeling less of that bullshit energy that we were dealing with the other day. Oh, you won't be experiencing that shit because you're not elevated. This is not teaching us teaching us anything. A lot of us, I've been on this journey since 2014. At the beginning of 2015, why am I still dealing with carnal shit in 2023 going on to 2024? That's how long I've been on the journey. That's how long I've been developing myself. You see what I'm saying? Since trans, trans, um, transforming in the end of, the, of 2014, the beginning of, two, I was going to say, two, the, the, the real work begin, the real time begin, 2015 is how long I've been on this goddamn journey. It's, it's how long I've been dealing with this goddamn 
karmic or vibration or dark energies. So they act like you didn't develop skills to understand their behavior. You develop every year, every second, every week dealing with this type of thing. And what are they doing? What are they teaching you? You ain't, they ain't teaching you a goddamn thing but learning how to block it out or transmute it and then it just ignore it. Things are cooling down. You cool, yo. You real cool. But things are cooling down. Or they think you're cool or things are definitely cooling down is what I'm getting here. On the bottom of the deck it says mischievous. Mischievous. So we are, I don't know. We, 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 listen, God damn it. All right? I'm going to pull Get something from here. All right? A lot of you have been on your spiritual journey for at least 30, 40, 50 years. Please tell me, if you're older than I am, leave something in there and help me because I'm still I'm still young. I, I listen, God damn it. I'm older too, but listen, God damn it. I'm, I'm, I'm young. I'm young. You know, also my older cats that been on this journey, spiritual journey, and know this karmic, devilish, dark, whatever the fuck it is. All right, you gotta become some all walks of life, so it don't really fucking matter. You know? I'm sorry, hold on, hold on. That's just messing up my mouth. Some of these damn meditation. <laughs> Be throwing you <clears throat> off. Oh, all right, let me get one more card off. Whatever I pull off on top of this deck. I got to get this off. I can't get this off. It won't come off. Every all of them nothing but this one. I, I'm struggling for this to come. Uh, whatever. If it don't come off, uh, okay, let me see. I saw it to, to, oh, to one o'clock. All right, two cards came out. Let's see. Freedom? This course is somebody freedom. Transformation. Freedom, I release my wounds, create doubts, resentment, and guilt. So I work to free myself of darkness. I cast off negativity thoughts, I mean negative thoughts, find peace in my heart, and discover the being of light within me. Exactly. I was just talking about that. Thank you, Spirit. It says transformation. I am constantly evolving. I improve inwardly by working on my weaknesses and refining my strength. I want to cry. I was just talking about this. Life ensures I am present with situations that will help me learn and grow. I am aware of my progress and open my windows to the light. I was just fucking talking about this. It's so fucking creepy because I expect that to come out a car like that. It's creepy. When I be doing these videos, man, I'm like, and I just be going and going and I was just talking about my experience of transformation and people. <sighs> I'm not gonna get emotional. Hold back. Transformation and freedom. You gotta be free. You're free. You're free. You're free to explore. You're free to experience. Okay, that's what I'm getting. I like this reading. I don't wanna mess it up. I don't want to get too much in. So I feel like I get too much in. To my fellas out there, I don't know. I get, I get a little aggress aggressive a little bit. Um, let me see. I want to get some alphabets. If your alphabet on your name, your alphabet don't come come out collective, it may not be you. It might be somebody else. It might be your nickname. It might be your street name, government name. I don't know. Or... And, last middle and issue, whatever, okay, tag name of somebody, or it don't have to be you at all, okay, let's get some initials out here, it can, it can spell a word, I don't know, whatever, whatever comes to your mind, okay, whatever comes to your mind first, don't think hard, whatever initial comes to your mind, 
it may, you might be thinking about it or you may need to evaluate on that or you might have to learn about something. Okay, so A, anybody that Alvin, maybe you know Alvin or Aaliyah or whatever. If that person comes to your mind, maybe you have to think about, you know, that person or learn about the situation you dealt with or don't deal with it or you might come into a contact with somebody with an A, all right? And this your last, middle, first, or tag name or the tag like street name or a nickname or something like that. G. J. R. Q. Get some more. It could be your mom, dad, your ex. If this resonates, don't. This, 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 this. If you're here for entertainment purposes, it's only fine. Um, you had here to laugh or, you know, you know, just to click on to get the energy of the vibe or the energy or whatever. You know, talk shit behind the screen. Like, that ain't me, bitch. <laughs> it's not my story. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You know, you be, I know some of y'all be doing that way. That ain't my story. But it doesn't resonate, so don't take it. It's general. It's a general reading. That's why. And I, sometimes I like to put my little sweet shit in it. So, you know, it's just to, to, to balance it out a little bit. You know what I mean? We got to let a bee that came out, okay? Um, Barbara. It could be any bee, you know? Brantley. It could be um, uh, Bob. I say it like that. Ew. <laughs> you got to let a Z, okay? You got a T. All right. Let's get some more. Oh, a W. Wanda. Whitney. Whitney. I say Whitney. Whitney. I can't even think of it. <laughs> oh, this is so crazy. I can't even think of it. Um, Webster. Ew, what the hell? What kind of. No disrespect for anybody named Webster. Now, what stop? <laughs> you gotta let an I, Irene, or whatever. Okay. Um, you gotta let an F. Um, you gotta let a U. Ursula. That's a good name, right? Ursula. Or what's up? What's what's unique? What what, what else? Somebody say unicorn. <laughs> Funny. Um, Z came out again, so that's double confirmation. All right. So two, yeah. So that's double confirmation. If the letters come out twice, that's double confirmation. All right. I'm gonna be pulling out. I'm gonna read it because I know my my ring is coming soon. So um, so I have to keep doing this to my thing. Um, my ring light is coming soon. Um, I have to order it. it no, it's coming without. Listen, I damn it. You gotta let it E. So that it, the E came out again. Listen, listen, y'all. You rewind it and see if the letter E came out. If it didn't, then fine. Cause I, I can't do all this. Stuff. So put it okay. E, P, S, E. Yeah, here we go. E again. J and Y. On the top of the deck, it says <coughs> Q. All right. So Q, J, Y, Q. Q, J, Y, S. Oh, you got another J. Okay, so two P. Hold up, y'all. Oh, okay, E. Two E's, two J's. Okay, Y. S F I P B Z Q W U R G T Z and A. Those are the initials, okay? It don't have to be a um an initial, but I just like to do certain things because maybe it can clarify that maybe for some cause we in tune and then this might resonate with somebody from a complete stranger that I don't know and it's maybe a story or vice versa, okay? So when we do tarot, it's not sometimes 
We're not directly towards an individual. That's not how spirit works. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if you're a psychic and you do this, then you know you directing it towards whoever you are. Like I could pull out a card. I'm not even going. I'm not even going to go there. I'm not even going to tap in like that. Anyway, collective, I'm gonna come back with another one. I did. I'm gonna do some more um short videos. I do 50 of them, and then once I do 50 or whatever, they allow me to go live. Okay. So I don't even know how many I did today, and the other one it should count. I think. I don't know how it's over, man. Well, thank you for the love, the likes, the supports, and subscribes. Um, I really do appreciate that very, 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 very much. I'm alive off. I know this is simple, short, but this D2 card freaked me out. Alright, it freaked me out. I'm just talking about the experience of being on a journey for, you know, a long time. So, people be on a journey for 15, 10, 10 15 years. Man, I've been on it for at least nine something years. Nine almost ten some years, you want to count couple of months in, at the end of 2014. But it's a long time. Been a minute, 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 minute. Since my old spot. Those who know that I, I used to live in the old spot, they know, all right? Before I moved here, okay? And I might, I might, six of six, six, six swords, maybe. Depending on what spirit lead me to. Because I already, you know, what, what spirit lead me to. You see what I'm saying? All right, collective? A lot of y'all that been on y'all journey, y'all your journey, your spiritual journey, congratulations. You, you succeeded. All right. You made it. And for another year, we're going to be going on to 2024. Do not make a long ass list. All right. I will be talking about that in, in December next month. Take it easy. Yeah. Right? I'm going to come back with another one. I might do another quick one after this. All right. Peace y'all.